Hey guys, this is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Now, before getting into the tutorial, I would like to wish you guys a very, very happy new year. I hope all your dreams come true and all the best for 2017. Have fun. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool looking pop-up circular animations, you can say, into After Effects, which, which are really simple and easy to create. I have used the same ones in one of my intro templates, so I'll put the link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. Make sure to check it out. And the template is absolutely free, so download it, have fun, you know, use it for intros, outros, or even as a transition. So let's go ahead and see how to create these really cool things. All right, so let's go and create a new composition and I'm gonna set it at 1920 to 1080 and let's keep it at 30 frames. 10 seconds should be good enough and I'm gonna hit okay. So first of all, we need to create an ellipse. So to do that, I'm just gonna click it and hold and select my ellipse tool and then I'm just gonna double click on it. So we have our ellipse and then let's just rename this to something like, let's say, for one go to ellipse one, ellipse part one and change the size. Now before changing the size, make sure to unlink it and change this to 1900 by 1900. There we have it. And then we can just link it up. Then I'm going to just delete the fill. We don't need it. And increase the stroke width all the way up to 500. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and add trim path like so. And now we can animate the end properties and animate our circle animation. Now you can see the edge of the circle are kind of choppy. So we need to make it really smooth and, you know, curvy. So to do that, we can just go into stroke and change the line cap from butt cap to rounded cap. So we get this really nice rounded edges. And then we can animate our trim path. So I'm going to go to let's say 10 seconds, set this to zero, create a keyframe, go to one second and 20 frames and set this up to 100. So we have a basic animation right over there. Then we also need to animate the scale of the circle. So to do that, I'm just going to select the layer and hit S to bring down the scale properties and create a keyframe drag that keyframe to 1 second and 20 frames and then set this to 0. So now we have our trim path animation and our scale animation. The last thing we need to do is to animate the stroke. So to do that I'm just, I'm just gonna set this right over there. Go to the stroke properties that is under the ellipse 1 stroke and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch. Make sure you are at one second and 20 frames. Then go back to 10 frames and set this to around, let's say maybe 80. Yep, that looks pretty good. Then, then we can just select the layer and hit U to bring down the keyframes. And select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and I'm just gonna drag it like so. So it's gonna start fast and then settle down really nicely and smoothly so it's gonna make it look really smooth you can see looks really nice there we have our first circle let's go ahead and just duplicate it by hitting ctrl d on the keyboard and changing the color to something like let's say let's say a yellow maybe and change it from purple to kind of a red Something like that. And then I'm going to go into the second circle that we have right over here. Go into contents, ls1, ls part 1 and change the size to somewhere around there. And we can also change the stroke width to around let's say 350. And keep it right over there. Yeah, that looks perfect. So we have our two circle animation. Now to give a little bit of randomness, I'm just going to randomly rotate this circle. So I'm going to select it and hit R to bring down the rotation properties and I'm just going to rotate it really randomly like so. We can also displace it. So I'm just going to 
maybe displace it by two frames so we have something like that see really simple and easy then I'm gonna duplicate it again and let's make this maybe something like a let's make this something like a blue one maybe yep and then we can decrease or bring down the size somewhere around there yep you can see we get this kind of a dot so we need to fix this so I'm just gonna set the size to let's say somewhere on there and increase the stroke width there we have it a really nice looking animation you can just randomize this again by rotating it randomly something like that so now we have our really nice animations we have a glitch right over here so let's just fix this just delete this keyframe and just bring this up so we have our animation really simple and easy to create you can see maybe I'll just displace the red circle to let's say 10 frames or maybe 5 frames and bring the other two circles right over there yep this looks a bit more better just like the template so our base is ready now we can go ahead and add the extra circle animations that appear with them so to do that all we need to do is just to duplicate it and let's bring this down and change the color so we can and change the color to something like let's say kind of a something like that and rotate it again to randomize it like so and then we can change the size so I'm just gonna hit U two times to just you know bring in all the properties like so and we can just play around with the size so I'm gonna keep it somewhere around there let's see how it looks you can see it looks really nice maybe I'll just rotate it in a different way like there and I'm gonna also change the stroke width to something like 300 so we have this really looking cool looking animation we can go ahead and create one more select the blue one and I'm just gonna duplicate it hit U so we can see all the keyframes go right over here change the color first of all maybe something like a purple bring this below change this to red and we can just solo this up so we can see what's happening and change the stroke width to let's say 300 okay and there we have it see maybe I'll just um, you know scale this up a bit just go right over here scale this up to 200 so we have this really cool looking animation that you can see really nice we can just give it a little bit of randomness by rotating it like so and now we have our really cool looking circle animation really simple and really easy now the animation in is done let's let's animate them out so I'm gonna go to right over there that is two seconds and let's crop this up by holding alt and close bracket so you can cut the red ones and we can select the main three circles hit U so we can see the keyframes or oh, we don't need to see all the keyframes we can just need the scale properties so we can just hit S to bring down the scale properties and create a keyframe then go to two frames in 20 seconds and scale these down to zero and scale the yellow and the red one out of the frame like so there we go we can just select the keyframe hit F9 to ease them and let's give it a little bit of really nice animation like so 
so it you know comes in and animate out really simple and really easy you see now you can use this animations as for your intros your outros or even as a transition and and it's not necessary to do with circles you can also do these things with a square triangle or whatever shape you want to create so it's really you know kind of a really cool technique to create some really nice animations for transitions and stuff so that's it for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.